To the story now about how a popular attraction in Portland has been severely impacted by the ongoing drought. We're talking about Somerset Falls. Now, the falls are dry, but as you'll hear in this report, business is not the only thing in limbo. A YouTube search for Somerset Falls in Portland will present a number of videos featuring tourists and visitors alike, enjoying what many describe as one of the hidden gems of Hope Bay in the parish. The water cascading at full force, too deep for some, so they have to travel by boat. For the more daring explorers, diving is always an option. But not recently. The main attraction at Somerset Falls nowadays is the pool. It's the only place at the venue where one can cool from the scorching heat of the sun. Here's why. No longer a spectacle to see, the falls have dried up. No boats needed as in the past. In fact, this is where persons once waited for the boat tour, which leads to a cave. But now it's an easy walk. As we made our way through the path, nothing but stones, dirt and dried leaves in some parts. Perhaps the most evident signs of the severe drought. And as we ventured further in, water. But nothing like what obtained before. Just a stagnant pond containing mosquito lava. We made attempts to speak with the owners of Somerset Falls, but they declined comment, which takes us to here, the community of industry. It's where one of the water sources of Somerset Falls is located. Residents pointed us to the river, which not only flowed into the falls, but was once the main source of domestic water. That, too, is completely dried up. Well, I don't know how me feel. Me no feel good about it cause from water I left your life I left you know. As when I was much younger we used to go down there and pick up jungle to the river, just pull the stone and cut them up. But now not even fishing in the river. So residents either purchase water or have to travel miles to get the precious commodity. The National Water Commission is proposing to revive an old pump house at Riverhead, but it will come at a cost. I am willing to pay because if I pay, I don't care as long as I get the service but I can't pay my money this month and all next year them same time I mean not get no water because them not get the amount of people where them want to put in whatever them need to put in to to to, to, to send out the water because each year to give five thousand last summer we don't get the light like come yourself yeah so if the MP can help we if we get some pipeline or whosoever here and I see we really really want the pipeline them really really would uh, appreciate anything we can give it towards the pipeline because there is water but without the pipeline we can't get the water. <laughs> 